right, what's going on fam? So today, Cornelius and I are gonna be starting a brand new program. Now, while I was training on prep, I was pretty much doing more of a body part split, like chest, shoulders, arm day, etc. The reason why I was doing that was because I was just mainly focused on like retaining muscle and just having quicker workouts because you know my body couldn't really take the heavy legs push pull split type workouts that I would usually do while I'm not in like a massive deficit. We are gonna be, yeah, we're starting a new program today. It's a legs push pull program. Now this is a power effect program. So this is the program that I created for September. So if you guys do wanna join us this month on the program that we're doing, you can click the link down below. This month is basically focused on really heavy lifting, top sets, it's a shit ton of fun and you'll definitely get a lot stronger. I created the power effect to be $9 a month so that you know you guys wouldn't have to break the bank and you guys can get new programs every single month. Whatever level you're at, whether you know, you're a beginner, intermediate, expert, there's different programs. You can get a custom meal plan. And then also, for those of you guys who are, are in the Facebook group, you already know we have a dope community in there so you can join that as well. But anyways, um, yeah, today we're gonna go meet uh, Kyle, one of my good friends who is an IFB pro. And then also Steve, who you guys definitely know, and he's also an IFB pro, so we're gonna get after it. We're gonna do the Power Effect workout, and we're gonna try to make these guys, you know, do the workout today too. We'll see. We'll see because sometimes you know they get picky. They want to do what they want to do. But Cornelius and I are definitely gonna be running uh, the workout, which I will put up on the screen later. So if you guys do want to just try the workout out, you can do that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm about to eat this right here. Icon meals. Um, they sent me a big package. If you guys want to click like down below and get like a, a little discount, you can use my link down below. I believe I have a, like a 10, what is it, 10 discount or something, I think. Yeah, so if you guys are interested. But I'm going to eat this right here. It's like a steak fajita bowl. I've already had um, one of these today, and then I had a protein shake with two scoops, protein cookie. So we're doing good on calories today, lots of protein. Um, so yeah, we're going to kill this down. And we'll probably go head over to chill with James for a little bit, and we're going to get this workout in. All right guys, so Steve and my other friend Kyle, they decided to go to a different gym. They kind of bailed on us, kind of bailed. But um, it's all good though. We're still gonna hit this leg workout and we're gonna have a fucking good time. I'm gonna bring you guys through it, explain why we're doing the stuff that we're doing. And um, you guys might learn a little something today because we're gonna be doing some different type variations you may have not seen. So, I'm about to throw my knee sleeves on, my squat shoes and shit. I just warmed them all up, I feel really fucking good. I haven't, I stopped getting legs like a month out from my show, or more like three weeks out, so, like, I've done two leg days, basically in the last, like, month and a half, and this is my third, or leg day back, and, um, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, today on the menu, we have a top set of six reps, and then three by 10, so we'll see what we're gonna do. I'm not trying to push myself to the absolute limit, because I'm trying to get my CNS primed again, I'm trying to, you know, get my form back, make sure everything is, I'm doing it the right way so I don't injure myself. Um, but I'm gonna try these knee sleeves out today. They're, it's, the brand's called Inaka. Um, and basically, this is Shawley Coker's brand. I don't know if you guys know who Shawley Coker is, but uh, he's from Texas. He actually competes in men's disease also. Yeah, I think he won a show this summer and then he did a national show and he looked really good. So basically, he sent a, a few pairs of these to Cornelius because him and Cornelius are friends. And um, I'm gonna try them out because they look really dope. And so I just want to try a pair out. So I'll give you guys a little review on those after I try these out. Um, I really, I always wear knee sleeves when I squat heavy. I'm trying to push, so yeah, we'll see how these fucking work. Uh, oh, Jesus. I'm gonna need some larges, brother. Uh. Guys, I just did the bar, and my motor pathways feel really good. Like last time, we did legs the first time I squatted in a while, and uh, it didn't feel as good, but today it feels a lot better, so we'll see what we end up working up to for 470, or for six, I already have it in my mind, 475 being the highest number I end up doing, but we just gotta see, I'll know after I hit 405 for a single, so fucking warm up.
go. Come on. Ah! One more. Did you, just, did you just get so light at him? Yeah. Is that why you didn't go? Oh. Damn. You got a hard stop on. Guys, so you just watched uh, a set of five, a flip of five. We wanted six, but honestly, like I just got so fucking out of breath, honestly, that that's why I didn't like I couldn't do the six rep. I don't know, like I definitely gained a lot of weight and just half out in squatting. I just feel so out of shape on the squats. Like on cardio, I'm fine, but this is a whole other type of thing. So I'm gonna have to keep conditioning myself. It didn't feel heavy, like you guys saw. I could have got another rep. But some of them were a little high too. I wasn't super happy with it. Um, but we'll take first to five for five. Um, I'm pretty much our second, third squat uh, session back. And then 315 now for three sets of 10, but I'm doing a high bar. Nice and slow and controlled, just focusing on hypertrophy, squeezing, and um, it doesn't really feel too bad. So I'm trying to like take it a little bit easier, not push it to the max, because I will throw up and fucking pass out right now. So. We're gonna keep up with the three feet and then we're gonna jump into something dope. I'm not gonna say specifically for strength in the legs. Now I'm trying to like really truly grow my legs a lot um, because when they actually did get mean, they look pretty decent. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. So um, I'm trying to really focus on that. So right here we're gonna do four sets of 10. I'm not gonna go super heavy weight on this. Like I've seen uh, Julian Smith, you guys know who that is. Uh, he's like really big Instagrammer. And uh, he, does, like, he does this machine, but he puts his feet really close and he puts his feet really low. And essentially what that does is it really works your uh, quads. Now, when you're doing that, you want to go really lightweight so that you don't fuck your knees up. Um, but we're going to do four sets of 10 with, I'm going to try to play for 25, see how it feels. Um, but this will literally explode your fucking quads. And I've been doing this and I really, really like it. So, um, 
we're going to try a plate of 25 for this. Again, don't worry about the weight on these exercises that you see we're doing from here on out. It's literally about the contraction and growing the legs. Like, your, your body doesn't know how much weight is there. It just knows the time under tension, and if you're fucking getting good range of motion, you're getting good rest. So, it's all fucking over. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is also quad focus. I am trying to bring up the quads, and I believe that's what most people are trying to bring up as well. So that's why this workout is very quad focused. So we're going to be doing goblet squats today. Um, and personally, I like to keep my feet as close as possible with these. Um, I'm going to try to go with the hundreds today. Um, but the thing is, this is an exercise where you're not going to be able to lift as much as you think because you have to hold the weight right here. And it kind of makes it harder to breathe, so make sure you pick a way that you can definitely get the rep range that you're trying to do. So we're going to see if we can take the hundreds for a ride, but I'm not sure. So, is it go? Yeah. All right, guys, so we do have to do some hamstrings on this workout. So we're going to end um, our last leg movement with the hamstring curls. Now, for this movement, the thing that you want to focus on is making sure you're pointing your toe upwards the whole time. Because if you're pointing your toe down, then you're not going to get the same level of contraction um, in your hamstring. So make sure you're just pointing the toe up. Um, and you guys will get that proper contraction. This exercise is not really a hard one to do. Like form wise at all to be honest, but it is a really fucking great one. You guys do see me do this, so um, yeah, that's really the only cue I would give you guys is make sure that the toe is pointed up. For sure. James, I need an outro right now. You need what? An outro. An outro? Yeah. Okay. What do you need for an outro? You just have to say something. Something like what? Like anything. Like that's all, folks. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>